Hey guys, it's your Derp, and welcome back to more Pokemon Snap. Apparently, Professor Oak has been waiting for us. In the last episode, we took on the cave, and now we're going to take on the next level, which is the valley. Now, this level is actually really cool. We um, get to go on a safari, so to speak, and go down a little river. And it's actually really cool, and that has great music. I actually love it. We get to throw Google Chrome at the Squirtle. That's what they are, by the way. Um, it's kind of hard to hit them, and I actually don't do it right, being the dumbest I am. But um, if you throw pester balls in the water, like I said before, um, you can have uh, wild Pokemon come up. And you actually want to do that at a Magikarp right up there, and you're going to see that Minky kick it way off in the distance. And that's going to be very important later on, so make sure to do that now. And we can't really do much with that Mankey, so I'm going to... I don't think he even gets close with the apples, unfortunately, so... I'm just going to try with that. But if you throw Pester Balls at the Shield Dude right here, if I could hit one, hit it. There we go. And when it comes down, it's going to make a Sand up here, which is freaking awesome. And then you can just throw apples at the, um, the Sand Shrew if you want to get those to appear. <laughs> he just ran into it. Like, I love that trumpet. Anyway, there's going to be a two Geodude and a Graveler right there. Now, I don't really know how to get that uh, Graveler down, to be honest. I thought you had to um, hit both the Geodude down, but I've tried it before and it didn't work. Um, I know there's a way to get some Graveler later on, which I'll show, but we can't do it right now, unfortunately. It doesn't make it right there, but we can't really do anything with that. And here we go, down the river. Okay, there's going to be some Graveler right there. I try throwing some Pester Balls at them, but they just won't go down. And that's where that Magikarp's going to land that the Minky kicked. Now, you want to try to um, hit it with a Pester Ball, if I can do it. There we go. And you want to look back at the Waterfall right over here. And if you do, it's going to evolve to freaking Gyarados. And that's the uh, only way to get Gyarados in this game, so make sure you do that. Just keep taking pictures, you'll get a cool pose. And it's, uh, let's go down here. Die, Mikey, you son of a bitch! Now, if you see a star you, you want to take a picture of it. And you'll know if you, um, got it right in the dot because it'll keep following you. I keep messing up right here. But there's, like, three star you here. I'll do it, um, in a layer playthrough because I have to play through this level a few times. What we want to do is throw some pester balls into that whirlpool and then make a dragon knight up here, which is freaking sweet! Oh my. How big. <laughs> now, um... If you save some Squirtle at the beginning of the level, or however many you hit, um, they're gonna appear right there. And there's gonna be a Mankey at the top of the mountain, and you wanna hit it just right to, um, move on to the final level. Which, I didn't do it right that time, just cause I didn't save that many, but I wanted to show the whole course- bleh, I wanted to, uh, show the whole course off anyway, so it doesn't matter. But still, I'm just showing that now. Is there a Porygon over here? I wanna see if there is. No? Huh. I guess there isn't. Okay. For some odd reason I thought there was. But, uh, that's where the, um, secret's gonna be. Just press that button. But, we can't do that quite yet. Mmm, let's see if I can get any of the, uh, water Pokemon to appear. Oh, the link. Ah. God, I keep missing it. <laughs> ah, that's gonna be annoying. Mmm, no, well, none yet. So, that's the end of the valley. Six pictures, not bad. Let's see what we got. Mm, that's cool in a Mankey. It's not in the middle, but it's the best I can do. We'll get a better one later. So if you do, that's probably the best I can get at that. <laughs> I like that one. He's just sitting there by the apple. It's so cute. Let's see. Magikarp. Eh, it probably won't do as well, but I'll take it. Hmm. Uh, I kind of like that one, to be honest. That's really cool. I'll see how that does. Mm, that one's in the center, though. But, eh, whatever. At least got Star You. I didn't get it right in the middle of how I wanted, but I'll take it. Uh, I like that one. He's, like, holding, like, a piece out or something. At least that's how I see it. And Squirtle, I'll get a better one later. I just got in my Pokedex for now. And it looks like it's it, so let's head to Professor Oak. 
let's see. Decent size, decent pose. No, double the points. Very nice. Oh, sweet. Actually, it didn't do bad there. Decent size, good pose. Oh, it's not in the middle. Yeah, I figure as much. Yeah, that, that one did that one did way worse, but that's fine. I like my other one anyway. Ooh, really nice pose. It's not even in the middle. <laughs> yeah, I'll take it. Yeah, that one sucked. I'll get better one later. And double the points for that one. Sweet. Yeah, that that one's bad, but I I'll get better one later. Suspicious switch. Good luck. Welcome back. Well, thank you. Anyway, let's head on to the valley once again. Yes. Okay, this time let's actually hit these squirtles so I don't have to worry about that freaking magic harp. So you just want to hit the tip of their shell with a pester ball and then they'll uh, shoot up there. That's what you want to do. You can get like three or four up there. And I'm gonna throw an apple so they actually look happy. <laughs> it is in both. Oh, that's really cute. I got that one just stuck its tongue out. Yeah, I'm sure why this is good. Hopefully. <laughs> And also you see that uh, Doug Trio statue over there? That's going to be very important later, so keep that in mind. And then way off in the distance, we're going to see a sand true, And we need to get that graveler down lower to get a better pitch of it. But like I said, I don't quite know how to get that particular um, graveler down. So I'm just going to take a picture of that sand slash just so I can get it down. But hopefully I figure this out because I need to. To complete my Pokedex. Let's try again. Come on. Die. Get down. Burn. I don't know how to do it. If anyone knows how to get that one down, let me know because I honestly don't know. <laughs> but so uh, keep on going. Ah, this place looks so good. Ah, especially we're in 64. My God. I'm gonna try to find some of the other warp of mine. Oh. Come on, you. There we go. Now when he does that, he's gonna keep uh, spinning around you, which is kind of disorienting to be perfectly honest. But um, you want him to keep doing that. You don't have to do anything else. Just till it gets a particular point, he's going to keep following you. I think if you hit it, he might go away. So don't do that. But um, once we get back to that whirlpool where we got the um, the Dragonite, then he'll evolve. I think you can get up to three following you. I've never actually done it myself, but I think you can. And now he's gonna go on in, and you wanna go ahead and take a picture of that Starmie. It's kinda hard to get a picture of, but now you can do it. I'm not sure if it follows you though, if you do that. Now you wanna save as many Squirtle as you can, because if you do, um, you'll have more chances at, um, Getting that. Now let's see if I do it this time. Die. No, but I didn't do it at that time. But I'll do it here eventually. Let's see what we got here. That's a good match crap one. Um I'm gonna go ahead and just quit the course because I really don't have a need to show the rest of the level. And we got four to one pitchers, so let's see what we got. <laughs> that one was kind of funny. <laughs> I like that one. That's a that's a, that's actually a really, really good one. I like that one. That was really cute. Uh, graveler. Uh, that's that's not more showing to be honest. That's kind of a cool one that he's digging right there. So I'll probably just use that one. <laughs> um, let's see. Mmm, I have a hard time getting a good one to star you. I'm sure there's something particular you have to do, but I'm just gonna choose one. He's facing the camera, it's the best I can do. And star me. That's a pretty good one. It's in the middle and it's a good size, so that should be fine. And I'll see how that one does. It probably won't do better than my other one, but I'll at least give it a shot. And that's it, so let's go back to Professor Oak. Points, 
thing. Well Alright, sweet. We didn't do that. You were close. <laughs> yeah, I figured that wouldn't do well. I'll try to get a better one later, but I probably won't. <laughs> I just want to complete the Pokedex at least. Point, so very nice. Hey, actually did better. I was expecting it to. As we uh, head on here, I'm gonna try to get a picture of that Dratini. It's hard to get. It. Come on, come on! I want to get you. <laughs> no, <laughs> let me get you. <laughs> okay, let's try to uh, hit that Mickey because I need to. Bye. Okay, there we go. Boom. Oh, why hello there, Dutini. <laughs> that was really close. I got another one? Ooh. That was really lucky. Uh, go ahead and take a picture of uh, Mikey right here because that's the best one and you're gonna get be close, but go ahead and hit it with the best ball and he'll go on that button. Hmm, where are we? Oh Oh my, it's Professor Oak. Hi, when it's nice to see you. I suppose you'd like to know why I'm here. I will I received some interesting information at the Pokemon Lab. It seems that there are six Pokemon signs hidden on this island. They have something to do with important Pokemon that are here. Oh. The signs of scenery seem to resemble Pokemon. One sign is a mountain that looks like a like trio. I came here to look for it. However, I can't go any deeper into the island, so I can't find it. It's right at the beginning. <laughs> have you seen a mountain that looks like that? Oh, I have an idea. If you uh, find this Pokemon sign, take a picture of it. It look like a Pokemon. Might just have clues that pictures and pieces look like them. Should I repeat the information? No. He's going to add a uh, Pokemon sign to our Pokemon report, which I'll show here in a second. But let's go ahead and look at the pictures we took. This is uh, just at the beginning. I thought that was a really funny picture I hit with like a pester ball or something. And uh, I just wanted to uh, show this off. I got Goldeen, but um, it was like jumping out and I couldn't really get a good one. So yeah, I'm just gonna look through these really quick, see what I can find. Ooh, <laughs> I like how it looks dead. But I actually really like that Sansher one, so I'm gonna go ahead and choose that because I think it's better. Star you, I didn't get a better one. So, don't care. <laughs> and we got your teeny. Ooh, let's see what we got. Mmm. I like. Uh, probably that one. It shows more of it and it's diving, so I'll probably just choose that one. And then we got Mankey here, so let's go and choose that. And I think that's all the pictures I wanted to show. So, uh, let's go to Professor Oak. Yes. That was a good size, and I threw a Pest Ball, so I got more points for the pose, but it didn't do as well, but I like that one anyway, so it's fine. Wait. It's not in the middle, you ass. Ugh. I like how it did better on the pose than I thought it would, even though it wasn't even facing the camera at all, but whatever. Okay, that one was at least better, so I... I'm okay with that. Uh, Dratini, let's see how that did. Got 550, 800 for jumping. Oh my. Okay. Mankey. I got really close up with that one, so that had to do it better. I got sound support for that pose right there, so I'll take it. Wait, wait, he didn't wait. Welcome back. Here's how to make your search for Pokemon signs easier. Wouldn't it be great if the zero one moved faster? Well, now you can use this dash and if you want to go faster. It's easy to use. Press R to make the zero one move faster. So basically, we could speed through all the levels and, you know, just find the Pokemon signs where they are. Which we're going to do that next episode. But I want to show the Pokemon report and just show the signs we need to look for. So let's go ahead and uh, read them. It says that someone is found this mysterious group of huge rocks. Practically, if you look at it from a certain angle, it appears to be a Pokemon ship. Okay. When light shines on an object, it's shadow we appear on a wall behind it. Somewhere there's a shadow that looks like a Pokemon. Smoke chain this shape, and some shape looks like Pokemon where you can find smoke? You already know. 
Have you heard of a tree near the river in the jungle that looks like a cubone? You know it's where it's planted, but I heard that someone has seen that tree. Shining brightly somewhere, that's all I know about this. Somewhere in the middle of a steep mountain is a mountain that looks like Pokemon. I went to the valley to find this Pokemon. Or mountain, not Pokemon. But we're gonna look for those signs next time. So next time on uh, Pokemon Snap, we are going to find the Pokemon signs. I just wanted to uh, show that picture of Pikachu really quick, just, you know, for memories. But, uh, yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and call it an episode. So next time on Pokemon Snap, we're going to do just that. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Herp derp.